Hi, in this video I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve these uh, questions on your own. So um, when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanation. So the first question is choose the correct statement about the genetic code and here are the four answers to choose from. Answer A. Uh, genetic code includes 61 codons for amino acids and three stop codons almost universal. Answer B. Exactly the same in most uh, genetic systems, three bases per codon. And answer C. Some amino acids are coded by multiply codons and uh, answer D. All of the above. And the correct answer would be answer D. And this is not much to comment. Uh, all that you see in answer A, B, and C uh, applies to the genetic code. So if your answer were uh, different, just memorize these answers. And, and now I can move to the second statement about X chromosome inactivation. Answer A normally takes place in males but not in females and this is not so because in males uh, for example if it is uh, going to be a cell uh, we would have uh, only one uh, X chromosome and one Y chromosome of course uh, X and Y chromosome doesn't look like this they look like this and Y chromosome is much smaller than X chromosome and because X chromosome is so large uh, and has so many genes on it, uh, if we uh, switch it off, uh, the whole uh, function of the organism would be disrupted and such organism wouldn't be able to live. So in males, X chromosome are always um, turned on. So uh, we can cross out this answer and we can move to the next answer, answer B is the cause of the Y chromosome being genetically inactive. And uh, Y chromosome uh, also um, active because there are some important genes on this chromosome that makes male male and if um, Y chromosome would be absent this would automatically mean that such organism phenotypically would be female. Those, this is going to be a syndrome uh, because uh, one X chromosome is not enough for normal function of the organism but uh, organism can uh, live without Y chromosome but cannot live without uh, at least one active X chromosome. So we can cross out this answer also and uh, answer C takes place in humans so that the X chromosome is inactive in all of the cells of the female. And uh, this is almost true, but only one chromosome becomes inactive. And uh, one chromosome is always active because in females we have two X chromosomes and uh, one would be derived from the say father side and another from the mother side and uh, female organism consists of 10 trillion uh, cells and in each cell uh, we would see one X chromosome uh, derived from the mother side another one from the father side and uh, one of them would be turned uh, on and another one would be turn it off. But both of them cannot be turned off simultaneously so we can cross out this answer and answer D occurs in fruit flies but not in mammals and this is not true it happens in all mammals and uh, we just can cross this answer and answer E results in genetically turning off one of the X chromosomes in female mammals. And this is true. Uh, this is random process. So in uh, some cells 
uh, one X chromosome can be turned off uh, in order to make a balance. For example, this can be one derived from the uh, mother side. In other cells, this can be uh, another one that is derived from the father side. So, uh, but only one active chromosome would be per uh, one cell. So this is uh, how um, X chromosomes are balanced with, for example, if you compare to the male uh, cell where one X chromosome always would be um, active and in uh, males only one X chromosome would be and this would be only from the mother side and uh, father would provide Y chromosome. And in females, there are going to be two X chromosomes, uh, one from the mother side, another one from the uh, father side, and they would be turned off randomly. So only one functional X chromosome would be per one cell. So the correct answer would be E. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.